with all the slowdowns that we've seen on the internet, one site that hasn't flinched is YouTube. I still highly recommend that if you're going to post videos for your students, put them on YouTube. Now, instead of making them public, you can make them unlisted. Let me show you how to do that. If you go out to YouTube and sign in, just choose your, your school account. When you log in, up at the top, there's a little camera icon, and if you click on that, you'll get an upload video option in the menu. So click on the upload video. Now what I've done is uh, on my hard drive, I've saved an MP4 file. This is a movie file. I'm just gonna take this file, drag it, and drop it right here, and that will upload it. So when my video starts uploading, I already get a link to the video. I can put in a title if I want to change it from whatever the name of the file was, and I can put in a description. Click on Next. Everything I make is okay for kids to watch, so I click that. I'm not going to add any end of screen or cards, so I go Next. Here's the important part. If I make this public, someone could search YouTube and find it, or they could go to my account on YouTube and find it. If I make it unlisted, neither one of those things work. They can't search and find it on YouTube. They can't even look at my account and see it listed because it's unlisted. The benefit, though, is anyone with a link can watch it without having to provide credentials. Private is that last thing. If you make something private, you have to know the Google account of every person you want to watch it. Now, that's not a problem for your students. You know all those. What you don't know are the parent devices that the students might have to use or the house computer that they might have to use to watch a video. You'd have to know the Gmail account used on all of those other devices, which is why the best way to go is unlisted. Once you select that, you save it. Depending on how long the video is that you uploaded, it might take it longer to process. Mine's already uploaded and processed. Now I can select one of these locations if I wanted to share this. I think just about every kind of social media you can think of is there. I also have a link right here that I can copy and email to my students. Let's say next week someone says, what was the link to the video that you posted last week? Well, at any time, you can come back to your channel, click on the YouTube Studio, go to Videos, and it will list the videos that you have. If you click on Play, there's a link right here that says Share. If you click on Share, it will give you the link to your original video. You can then send that link to someone who needs it. If you have any questions about this whole process, just let us know.